Hey guys and welcome back to another one. Now recently I did install a CCTV system here on the house and you can take a look right over here on this display and I've been playing around with it for about two weeks or so and as usual what I'm going to do today is to share with you my experience and my feedback regarding this particular system, unboxing, installation, setup and so on and so forth and to try and keep this video as short as possible Let's go straight for it. And this video is sponsored by NordVPN, a VPN service available for almost any platform with servers in 56 countries at an affordable price. Check out the link below for more details. And we are back. So starting as usual with a very quick unboxing experience. Guys, once we open the uh, package, we will find the NVR uh, that comes with the 12 inch LCD screen integrated for uh, 10 80 resolution wireless cameras, one power adapter for the NVR along with one power adapter for each of the cameras and all uh, other accessories that we can use and of course a quick user guide. Now taking a closer look at the system and starting with the cameras, uh, what I can say is that they are well built. They're made of a metallic leak which is also waterproof and they have a 1080 resolution with night vision and a 90 degrees angle which gives us uh, pretty much everything that we want to see, at least here in my case. And it has a great image definition that we will see in just a few moments. It also has an SMA connection to connect to the provided antennas but uh, if we feel the need to we can buy stronger antennas to attach to it. Now moving on to the NVR, this was definitely one of the main reasons that led me to choose this set, especially because it has a 12 inch uh, screen integrated which can be very useful in some uh, cases here. We just have to uh, see if it will be useful for our particular scenario or not. Now moving on in terms of image quality, what I can say is that it's really great and the only thing that I would uh, point out here is that the plastics could be a bit better. Now they're not bad but I would love to see a, a better material in this display. It has two external antennas so that we can extend in the range, a desk stand, a wall mountable bracket, one HDMI output, one Ethernet port, two USB 2.0 ports and a power input jack. And it also comes uh, with the included two terabyte hard drive to store the recorded footages. Now this terabyte, just out of curiosity, is a Seagate Barracuda 2 terabyte. Now setting up the system according to the advertisement it's plug and play. Now we all know that plug and play doesn't mean everything in every situation as we have seen many times before in the past but in this particular case as you guys will see I was happily surprised that it was and it is really plug and play. So just that you guys can have an idea once we plug in the NVR it will start automatically and it will start looking for connected cameras and after that all we need to do is connect any camera to a power source and within a range of about 10 seconds or so it will detect the cameras that we connect and it will start uh, by default the video display and also recording. Now in terms of setting up the cameras this will be uh, uh, different for every case scenario. It will be as simple as just drilling a hole on the uh, wall and then uh, connect the cameras and it will start. But in my particular case I wanted to take advantage of my outdoor lightning system with motion detection so it took a bit more work but in my opinion also looks a lot better. Now for someone that is used to uh, DIY projects it will be quick but for someone that doesn't it will take a bit longer. So here it will really depend on the way that uh, we are going to install the cameras. Now I also made some modifications to the power supply units voiding my warranty but I will not get into much details right over here. If someone is curious about how I did it and if I have a similar setup to mine then feel free to drop a line down below asking anything and I will try to answer as best as I can sharing some pictures and notes and so on so forth so that you guys can take advantage of the experience that I had for the past few days. Now moving to the coverage of the system because we are talking about 
wireless cameras, although they can be used with the Ethernet cable, which in my particular case wouldn't work. It would be a mess of cables, although we can use power line adapters and so on and so forth, but let's keep this as simple as possible. Just a system, wireless, how does it work? Now, fortunately, it works better than I was expecting, especially because the house that we live in has a large area and I wanted to cover different angles and in my experience what happened was that one of the cameras uh, had a very weak signal that we can fix by replacing with a stronger antenna as I mentioned before with an SMA connection or even to use the Wi-Fi extender antenna included and then I would need to drill a hole to inside uh, the house and I didn't want to go that way but I did find out something that is uh, really useful with it, which is a Wi-Fi repeater function in this system and we can use any camera as an access point. This is really interesting. Now what I'm doing right now is using camera number one which is closer to the NVR and closest to the camera number four to act as an access point. So camera number four is not connected directly to the NVR, it's connected to camera one and camera one is connected to the NVR. So this was something really interesting that I found on this system. I'm not sure if other systems have the same capability or not, but this is a useful one. Now before I was using this Wi-Fi repeater function, I was constantly losing signal on camera number four, which is the one that is further away. But since I'm using the Wi-Fi I repeater I haven't lost signal. Now if you ask me hey Robert is it perfect I would have to say it's not. At this moment I'm having about 15 10 frames per second or so uh, with a small delay. Nonetheless it is acceptable and workable. So I will have to see if I will keep this set like this or if I will buy a stronger antenna but at this moment it's working no signal loss and it's a great function. Now once we have all the cameras connected uh, to the NVR, uh, it will start recording automatically four different cameras and of course according to our preferences. Now the menu has a lot of functions, some are basic and some more advanced, but personally I did find easy to use. I'll give you guys a few seconds so that you can have a better look at it, but we will not waste too much time because there are a lot of guides online and this will be familiar to all. Now this is a closed security system that can work by itself, but if we want to use any other device, all we need to do uh, basically is to connect it to our network and once we are connected, then we can use any Android or iOS device to capture uh, the QR codes and in a few seconds, we have everything ready to be used anywhere in the world as long as we have an internet connection. Now also we can use on any device or computer through a web browser. All we need to do is just to put in the IP address and uh, instantly it will give us access to uh, most of the functions that we find on the NVR. And finally, there's also a CMS option available for Windows computers only or Windows devices only to be more precise. And basically it will allow us not only to preview but also playback options and also some more advanced options similar to the ones that we find on the NVR. And by the way, what I'm doing right now on this background screen is using a Windows 10 computer with the CMS installed so I can have image here or I can have on my phone or on my tablet and so on and so forth. And that is it. Hope that you guys enjoyed the video and if you have any questions at all regarding the installation and so on and so forth, modifications to the power supply unit so that I could use my uh, external power with the motion detection and so on and so forth, then feel free to drop a line down below. As always, my name is Roberto George and guys, I'll see you on the next one.